Good Wednesday afternoon. Hope you and your family are home staying safe and healthy. And I was coming on early. I realized the Modern Family finale is tonight. So I wanted to go ahead and come on and um, do my meal planning now. Um, probably while the way things are um, the way things are right now, I'll probably start doing my lives um, around this time on Wednesdays instead of um, later in the evening. So um, I know most of us are home anyway, so uh, hopefully you can jump on and ask any questions and interact as well. But wanted to get started planning the menu for next week and show you guys um, how I go about the meal planning and then also um, what we'll be having for Easter, which doesn't fit into these containers at all. So I may leave some of the, I may leave Sunday's block alone and then um, for containers because I'm, it's a holiday and honestly, I'm not gonna count containers on Sunday. Um, I'll tell you what we're having. Um, I'll probably leave this on the plan. If somebody wants to continue to follow their containers, they can do that. Um, but on the other version of the menu, I'll be showing what um, we'll be having actually for Easter um, breakfast and lunch as well. But if you have any questions, feel free to pop in on the chat and um, say hi and ask any questions you have. So I like to do my meal planning. I break it into three different steps. I just did a post to, that I posted today about routines, weekly routines, daily routines, and then morning routines. So um, be sure to check that out. But um, part of my weekly routine is my meal planning and um, the grocery shopping. And I actually break those, um, it sounds like two steps, but I actually break it into three different steps so that it's just not so overwhelming. So on Wednesdays, I do my meal planning. On Thursdays, I'll write the grocery list. And then on Fridays, I'll actually do the grocery shopping. One of the reasons why I like to um, write the grocery list on one day and then grocery shop the next day is it's sort of the same with packing. So I like to pack like the day or two before I go on a trip because then at night while you're lying in bed, you have all those things of, oh yeah, I forgot I need to pack this. Or, oh yeah, I forgot I need to pack swimsuit cover up. Or, oh yeah, I forgot I need this. So that's kind of how I like to do my grocery list as well. So I'll plan everything out on Wednesday, Thursday, I'll go through and write the grocery list. And then on Friday, it's kind of that, I give my family the last call before I head to the store. Is there anything else you guys need? And usually that's when they'll say, oh yeah, I forgot I need this or oh yeah, I need that. So um, that's how I, how I like to do it, to, to break it down and make it a little bit easier and then it's not so overwhelming and then you hopefully um, get everything that you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you and we will get started. The first thing that I like to do on my meal plan is I like to go in and put the dates um, and any activities that are going on. So Sunday we actually do have an activity or an activity, an event. It's Easter Sunday, so hopefully you and your family have some plans to spend Easter together, albeit at home, but together. Um, then in the rest of the week, there's not really anything going on. So I still like to put in the dates because also when I get home from the store, I can look at the dates and see, okay, the meat that I bought, when is it, when is the sale by or use by date so that I can make sure um, I'm using it by the proper dates when it's freshest and move some things around if I need to. 14th, 15th, 14th. Take that out, that was a note from last week. This should be the 16th. Saturday will be the 17th, and then Saturday will be the 18th. Okay, so now we know all the dates and any activities. Um, so like I said, um, for Sunday here, I do have popped open my Easter menu. Um, I do have a post on the website of my favorite Easter recipes. For breakfast, we usually have these resurrection rolls, which I found on Pinterest a long time ago, which are pretty cool. Um, so you actually put like a marshmallow inside with um, oil and cinnamon and sugar, and then you wrap it in a crescent roll. And then when it bakes, the marshmallow dissolves and melts away and turns delicious <laughs> and turns the inside delicious. But then it's kind of like the tomb where Jesus was to where it's empty. So. Those are pretty cool to make. So um, I usually make those and then um, have them with some little smokies or like a turkey breakfast sausage. And then for lunch, um, this is pretty much our lunch menu um, for Easter uh, every year. 
I'll do a ham. Of course, I won't have a huge ham because it's just going to be the three of us. Um, but we'll do ham, probably some green beans, some carrots, um, a macaroni with cheese sauce, which is my grandmother's recipe. Um, we'll be dyeing Easter eggs probably on Friday or Saturday so we can have those as a snack as well. I don't know if I'm going to get the rolls. Maybe. I'll ask the family what they want. Um, I have been debating. I usually make a carrot cake, and so I've been trying to debate, like, okay, I'm going to have this whole cake, but we can't eat that much cake. So I was thinking about maybe making my carrot cake. It's a cooking light cake that I like to make, and I'm thinking of making it as cupcakes, so then maybe I can pass them out to um, my family or friends and neighbors. And then the orange jello salad, it is so good. So... That's the macaroni with cheese sauce and my grandmother's typed out recipe. <laughs> and then the orange jello salad, that's the, that's one of my grandmother's recipes too. And it really is refreshing. So that's what we'll actually be having for Easter lunch. And then we'll just have the leftovers for dinner. So I'll write some of it in here to see. Um, I'll just leave that there. <laughs> we'll do ham. Oops, ham, and let's see. I'll write it all in. Green beans, carrots, and then macaroni. Not really fix approved, but that's okay. It's a holiday. And then I'll leave that there. And then we'll have the leftover ham. I'll just write leftovers. Okay. So then moving on to Monday, I will probably, so on Monday, I'm going to be starting um, 10 rounds. It's a new um, boxing video from, uh, workout video from Joel Freeman and um, early access, VIP access just went on sale on Monday. So if you want to go in and grab that, you can check out my review. It's up on the website as well and um, join me for that. I do have a challenge group that I've started for that as well. So if you wanna knock out 10 rounds together, we can do that. So in the 10 rounds, they have a portion fix seven day meal plan. So I did my calculations and I am plan B. And um, they have some suggestions here. Um, to, be on <laughs> to be honest, it's kind of, well, I guess towards the end it gets a little different, but most of it's like a two day meal plan. It's like the same thing every other day, but. Um, that's okay. I understand they're probably trying to make it easier. So let's see. Let's go to Monday. I'll have my Shakeology for breakfast, my banana, but in reality I ate my banana and then my Shakeology after I work out. I did have this. So there, they have the containers paired up a little bit differently, but they have a Fixate Quinoa breakfast bowl and it looks like it has a blue with it. So maybe I can try that. And I have this card that I've been saving that I wanted to make this um, breakfast squash. So let's go ahead and let's do, I'll put in the fixate quinoa breakfast bowl and then two slices turkey bacon. Okay, so this is going to be, and then I'll alternate it. So I know I was talking about them kind of alternating things, but I alternate my snacks and I keep my breakfast pretty much the same, but for my dinners, I usually make that a little bit different every day. So then this is going to go on Monday and I will copy and paste it for Tuesday, or I mean Wednesday, and then Friday. Okay, and then, so and also I need, so that is a red, yellow, green, blue teaspoon. So I need to make that teaspoon, I need to make the blue go up here. This is so wonky. Okay. I think it worked. Does it work? Okay. Go back. All right, okay, and then I'm gonna copy that for Monday. Hopefully those will all return back to normal in just a second. Sometimes the formatting is weird. <clears throat> Go back. 
Okay, let's undo that. Undo. Okay, now everybody should be happy. Okay, now it looks happy. So now we'll copy that so that I get the container counts right for every day. And I'll paste that. And it double pasted. Oh. Yes. What's up? Okay. Be careful. Wash your hands. Stay outside. Love you. Okay. So now let's take out the other ones. Edit. Cut. So if you're ever going in and using some of my meal plan templates, but maybe you're an A or you're a C or D, E or F, and so this shows you, you can just go in and move the, um, move the containers around. What is that doing? Delete, okay. Asked my family what they wanted and they said, to please make again the Cajun shrimp and sausage vegetable sheet pan meal. And that was easy and yummy. Cajun shrimp and sausage sheet pan. Cajun shrimp and sausage. Cajun shrimp, sausage, and vegetable. That's what it is. Sausage and vegetable. Sheet pan dinner. And then we have that with brown rice. And then I'll just need to add in some... Actually, I'm going to move my orange up. So wonky. Okay. And let's see if I can do that. And then we'll have it with, yeah, with Italian dressing. How you're supposed to do Italian dressing. Okay. Let's fix that. Copy. See, sometimes the, the containers will look wonky and disappear, but then once you start doing it again, it will all go back to normal. Okay, boom, and then Friday. Paste, all right. Okay, so we've got that, we've got dinner. All right, and now we can go to Tuesday and I'm going to make this breakfast squash. And that is a fixate recipe. And I'll add some olive oil to it. And then it calls for fixate breakfast sausage. So this is one of those recipes where you're gonna look and fixate and it's gonna be like, oh, it takes 20 minutes to make. And you'd be like, amazing. And then you're gonna go, wait, I have to have fixate breakfast sausage? That takes another 30 minutes to cook. So either make your fixate breakfast sausage ahead of time or just use some turkey sausage. That'll work too. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. Okay, and that's a red, yellow, green teaspoon. So that will be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays. So I'll move that to Thursday. Paste. And then Saturday. And so the good thing about having these, um, repeating these is you can make a batch and then meal prep it on one day and then the other days all you have to do is reheat it. Okay, so Tuesday We've got that. Our leftover will be this for lunch. And I need to add in. Okay, so that blue 
Okay, so I, this is what I, this is what I did last week is I just changed the color of these. So this needs to turn back to blue. And then that doesn't look right. And then this one turns back to orange. And I am trying to be better about making sure I get my orange containers in. I actually just had my peaches with sunflower seeds and spinach. So, okay. So this will be a green, purple. Ooh, I know, I know what I wanted to have. I wanted to have um, the jicama tacos, jicama with guacamole and mango. I'll have that. So that will be Tuesday and then I'll carry it to Thursday. Do they have, okay, the containers are already white. And then also Saturday. Ooh. Okay, so I've planned all the snacks for the week now and it's only Tuesday. All right, so we did that for that day. Oops, I put this in the wrong spot. Okay, so we had Cajun shrimp on Monday night. Tuesday we have it for lunch. And that made a lot of good leftovers too, so that was good. Um, okay, so meal three. That was one thing my family wanted. Um, something that I want is some ramen. So I'm gonna put that. It's the Instant Pot Ramen. So good, and my son now likes it, so that's good. And then we can add sesame seeds to that. Not, yeah, sesame seeds. Okay. I'm gonna add that will become lunch the next day. And let me go ahead and make these containers the right color. Okay. Awesome pot ramen. Okay, and then we've already got our snack. Okay. All right, so I've got two meals down. Okay, let's go back to this. Um, this one has, for dinner, one suggestion is a turkey burger. One suggestion is the fixate balsamic glazed chicken ground beef, black beans, corn tortillas. That sounds like tacos, so let's call that. Do you know what I've been wanting? <laughs> I've been wanting some spaghetti, so let's do spaghetti with meat sauce. Boom. And then we will have that for leftovers. For lunch and then Thursday night is left and right okay and that's everything and then we'll just leave a sandwich kind of there and then we usually end up with leftovers so we'll eat the leftovers out okay and then we still have been um, hitting up our restaurants for their to-go orders like we normally do all right so that is it we have planned out the menu for next week um, be sure to check out my Easter menu if you're wanting to go a little off the containers and um, plan some Easter menus. And then also um, check out the 10 rounds um, review I have, the workout review. And then I would love for you to join me in my 10 rounds challenge group that starts um, prep week is this week, but we start the workouts on Monday. Hope to see you there.